Alec was facing a cost of $1,300 a month for insulin and diabetic supplies. Alec worked full time as a restaurant manager for a small family owned company who did not provide health insurance for its employees. Alec made decent money and because of this he did not qualify for assistance of any kind. Not from the insulin makers, not from the state, and not from the federal government. Without anyone knowing, Alec began to ration his remaining insulin because at the time he went to the pharmacy, he did not have enough in his bank account to spend the $1,300 required. Alec began to adjust his diet, take less insulin than his body required to make it to payday. Alec's body was found three days prior to payday. Alec died from diabetic ketoacidosis due to a lack of insulin in his body. Who do you blame for these insulin price hikes? Well, you know, in the last 25 years, the pharmaceutical industry, major companies have been fined some $35 billion for collusion, for fraud, and for other illegal behavior. What we're seeing right now in terms of insulin is the prices are skyrocketing. And just coincidentally, it happens that the three major suppliers of insulin seem to be raising their prices at the same exact time, at the same level. So I think you have to be very naive not to believe that there is collusion. The drug companies have said uh, that there are various reasons for the price increases, um, that you know, there are changes in their drugs, that the drugs are better, uh, that they've you know, enhanced them, and that's why the patents change. I take it from the look on your face, you're not buying it. Not a word. Look, the drug companies, the major, five major drug companies last year made $50 billion in profits. They have well over a thousand lobbyists here in Washington, D.C. They provide hundreds of millions of dollars in campaign contributions. Their job and what they do is charge the highest prices they possibly can, the highest prices in the world. Their business model is greed. Their policies literally are killing people who cannot afford the medicine that is needed. We need major, major reform in the pharmaceutical industry.